Developing news now at the State House. As we reported live at 5, House lawmakers have passed a bill to extend the statute of limitations for child sex abuse victims. However, the Senate version is facing criticism. Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado joins us now live from the State House with the update. Steph? At 5 o'clock, we told you those sex abuse survivors were unhappy with changes to this bill made in the Senate. Now, since 5 o'clock, just a short time ago, the Senate Judiciary Committee actually held that bill for further study instead of voting on it so that they can keep working on it. Now, in the meantime, the House passed its version of the bill this afternoon, an emotional scene with a standing ovation for Representative Carol Hagan McEntee and the sex abuse survivors who were in the room, including her sister Anne Hagan Webb. The legislation extends the civil statute of limitations for sex abuse lawsuits from seven years after the victim turns 18 to 35 years. It would allow victims to sue both the perpetrator and the institution, such as the church or school, that may have allowed the abuse to happen. It gives victims a much longer period of time to come forward. Coming forward before you're 25 is nearly impossible. It's a great day. It's a good day for the victims. It's a good day for survivors. And it's a good day for all of Rhode Islanders that we are being proactive in taking care of a problem that is haunting the entire nation and the world. And we're doing the right thing. And as I mentioned, that Senate committee was slated to vote on a version of this bill that would have removed a provision that would allow victims who remember later in life that they were abused as children to still bring claims. They held that for further study after concerns were brought up by sex abuse survivors. They are now working to reconcile that with the version that just passed the House. The Catholic Church also says they're hoping a compromise will be found. Live at the State House, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.